Right. Xiaomi drone battery problem. We we'll start at the beginning. Uh, got a battery, ordered a battery from uh, Banggood. Battery arrived. Had about 50% charge, so used uh, the old charger. I've since got another charger. And uh, when flying, a money brought it down to about maybe 45% or something. Uh, it wasn't a nice evening, it was getting late and stuff like that. Charge the battery again. And I found I had to plug it in two or three times before it actually charged and then it went fine. So I thought, yeah, just small thing. Uh, when flying, maybe two or three days later, um, the original battery, which I'll come to that in a minute, um, down about 30% landed, uh, stuck my second battery in, about 10-12 minutes of flying, and uh, it started warning me, battery was unstable, blah blah blah. Now I was lucky, the thing was only about maybe 50 meters, 60 meters away from me. Uh, it went into an emergency landing and it was in a good spot. Didn't have an issue, didn't have a problem with that. So, when to charge the battery? No charge. Just two of the lights. No, this has been whipped. Okay. Uh, no charge. So, I got on the Banggood and they said take photographs or a small video or something which I did do which I think is on this YouTube channel but at the time for some reason um, it was on Facebook I had it uh, just so they could get it to look at it and uh, quite a few people get on to me you know did you get it fixed did you get sorted I got sorted with, with Banggood they got back on to me um, with an offer, give them fifteen dollars, twelve odd euro or something, you know, small money. Um, yeah, but the dollar is more for the league squad. Um, yeah, about twelve euro odd. That was it. And I got a replacement battery, and that battery worked fine. So I started doing some investigating on the battery. And a very long story short, I did quite a lot of recording while I was working on it, which I managed to do the squiddle trick. I can't find it. I think the card I was using, I used in the dash cam, and I think it got recorded over. I can't find it. If I can find it, I'll put it on with this. Um, it showed opening it, then whipping it, then how I tested it. What I discovered was, my batteries were fine. All the cells were fine. But I could get it charged by this, you'll see this plug in here. He's up here on top now. He's usually covered in all yellowy goo or black or whatever. And you just have to clean that off and you can actually get this guy out. Okay. Just the cell controls. Um, and you, you know, plug him back in you're doing kind of a reset on the thing and not actually doing a reset but it's near enough for a country job and you can charge the battery but you try flying with that and you'll probably have the same problem 10 12 minutes boom boom so what i wound up doing and the problem i found with it this is not the Banggood battery. This is the one that came with the drone, which came from Gearbest, day one. It was fine. This battery was fine, still working fine. But what I've done, this is the top of the, let's say, the donkey battery, the bad battery. Don't be calling it the, 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 the Banggood battery. It's not their fault. Um, they were actually very good in, in, in dealing with the whole thing and pretty sharpish as well. Um, it came um, in an express post, which I had it, I don't know, maybe a week or less. 
um, and that's probably where all the 15 dollars or 12 euro went and uh, the replacement that came was fine it's grand, not a problem it's working fine well when I was ripping and fiddling with this thing I discovered you know you can charge it by doing this trick that I just showed you and I discovered when you have this all ripped at the back here it's very easy to um, individually test the cells the cells were fine they would be at most there would hardly be a millivolt between them put it back together stick it in the drone and it will always tell in, in my case the battery number four would be three or four maybe five millivolts half a volt down on the rest take it back out rip it check them no they're still the same so I figured the problem was here on the top and I think I'm right because as I say this is the original battery the top here is off the um, bad battery and the problem has followed the bad battery this part of the bad battery is now working fine with the top of this the top of the original battery that came with the drone um, which I'm quite happy to state this is the problem now I've been looking around and trying to see can I get this part this control module and no it doesn't seem to be anywhere you can get batteries alright so I would say if you have that problem and it's showing one cell down when say when you have your battery in the drone and you check them the battery from the uh, me app if it's showing a battery low or two batteries low and you're having this charging problem uh, rip it open as I say if I can find the stuff uh, yeah if not there are other guys on YouTube uh, that's how I discovered how to open them without making a dog's dinner of them uh, this one has a few little screwdriver marks there and there again uh, opening it but they're small and they're not a problem <coughs> as I say open it and just check them uh, you'll uh, need a fairly good reasonably active multimeter because I, the, the, the difference between the batteries it doesn't take a lot uh, to show a problem even on a good board as far as I know I think it's about 4 millivolts, 3-4 millivolts if there's that much of a difference uh, this will the system will kick up so this is messing up the signals it's basically it's not working right ok as uh, I say this battery is perfect it's good no problems but once I change the top put the top off what we call the bad battery on this one the problem goes to this battery the other battery is working fine with the top off of this the top of the original so it's here the problem is now where I don't know now I know that I tried these four units here one of these has if you need a magnifying glass and there seems to be a little crack on, on the surface of it now that may not be the problem but I know I was trying to pick it up on the camera and it, it, it wasn't really doing it you know through the magnifying glass um, I don't know if that's the problem but there is definitely something wrong with this thing I wouldn't trust it flying uh, as I say I can even charge it it, it is mm, it's actually fully charged because I was fiddling with it well yeah it, it'll take a bit um, but even charged I just would not use it um, what I'm going to do with it uh, I had it kind of sealed up is I'm just going to hold it until one of my older batteries gives up the ghost that is working and just change the tops over and that's I know them solders are a bit you know 
no, that was my solving, but it, it, they're still good enough, you know, to do the trick. Now I know some people found problems. There's one, I think it's a Spanish guy, Spanish or Portuguese, I forget now. But he found a, a, a problem on the board here at the back. Now, he didn't show himself sorting it, but he showed the problem. And it just looked like dry salt or something to me. Um, wasn't Spanish, must be in Portuguese or something, because I didn't understand, I couldn't pick him up right. The Spanish I'd understand all right. Um, that's it, that is what I found. In my case, this is the problem. Yes, unplugging this like guys are doing, but none of them are actually showing themselves flying with that battery. You know, they'll show sticking it in and you know, the lights will come on and the thing and that. Flying, I would not fly it, I just would not, uh, I just would not trust it. So that's my experience, I say, if I can find the stuff, but I don't think, I think I've recorded over it. Um, there was, now there was quite a lot of time spent, but I could, you know, I could shorten it up. If I can, I'll show it, and show the, the readings of the, of the cells and stuff. Right, I better go do something. <laughs>